Welcome back YouTube, it's me the cool loser and today's video is going to be on the top 10 best games of this week, number 356. I'll be playing these games on the LG V20, popping an unboxing review right here. And as you can see I have both my cameras that run my show, but I'm recording with a different camera today. And today's audio source, and what I love about NFC on Android is that you just pair. Reaching for pairing. Connected. Number one, basketball. So you play against a real live opponent here. But this game is just your base, so you can go to the right, go to the left, and then you go up and shoot at that little cursor. And I got two points. And he has to try to stop me. I could fake him. Oh, he stole the ball. Okay, so now it's his turn. And I have to swipe up to try to stop him. Block! Yeah, that was a good block right there. And now I'll shoot. Oh, and he blocked it good on time. Ah, too late. Ooh, we got four points. Oh, come on! Come on, make it. Woo, tied up. Come on, go loser. Make it till you make it. There we go. Woo! And I win first to ten. There you have it. Number two, Gyrosphere. Now, in the second level, it matters to where not to fall off. You have to swipe your direction, and it makes a big difference. There's the checkpoint. Swipe your way through it. Swipe up. Slow it down. And obviously the levels are going to get a little bit more kookier. You just restart. So let's go again. Hit the brake. Whoa. Turn it. And it does tell you a little practice mode of how to do it. You can see that by swiping. There's also ramps. Whew. And it does take a little getting used to. And you see it's getting... Oh! Number 3, Zombie Frontier 3D. Now, if you're a fan of zombie games or just shooters in general, you're gonna have this game that's not too bad. It requires your left gesture control, and then you move through the, through the play. It kinda moves by itself, you just kinda aim, and you do have some grenades you can throw. Oh, that was kinda not great. You can also switch your weapons. So we got a machine gun, you can do an aimer. And then we should... Of course, doing headshots will let you waste less bullets. Oh my god, oh my god, I got that! Number four, Brick Breaker Hero. Now you can direct the cursor here. You want to hit the little bad guys there. And then you can move around and your little cursor. And you collect the stars and they give you extra points because it's about getting the most points and not just about getting all them all out. And then you do get some slow-mo stuff like that. There's no timer so you can take your time. Oh! I thought that was the ball. <laughs> Use my fireball so that I could go through the bricks. Yeah, yeah. Oh look, it's shooting. So as I'm playing, a lot more stuff is starting to unlock. And I love these sites. This is just the beginning, kind of training everybody to try to keep playing. Oops! Click. Number five, Puppet Punch. <laughs> now, this game requires you to just tap and hit these sacks of gold and punch up these puppets. Now, you might think, oh, what is this game? Well, it's one of those games that you want to beat your friends with and have a better, you know, combo hit. Those three, so you can see they have three lives. I missed that. Some of them are more hits and get the most points. Don't hit them when they're spiked because they will obviously... Oh! It's actually like kick you like that. You can also hit their stuff that's coming down. So you don't have to get hit by them. Ah! It's, it's a pretty tough game. I think you're gonna like it. Number six, Blocky Hockey. I really enjoy playing this game here. And you can see that it's gesture based, swiping through, staying in the little orange circle will let you give some power ups when you catch on fire. And then you tap and stop, and you want to go in the green and shoot at the goal, and you get this kind of score 19. My best is 91. And it does get tough. Oh, there we go. I'm on fire. That means I can just bowl through everybody. Forgot to go through it. Now we got a goalie. All right, all right, all right. Woo! 88. And you see the track is getting so much longer, so more things are happening, and they're getting faster, and they're getting more in the way, and here we go. Bam! Number seven, Fury Road Survivor. And it automatically shoots, and you got people coming at you. 
out of everywhere. But what you do to survive now, I'm just gonna climb up here, make sure that they don't kill me. It's a big world, and you can collect little barrels like you see in the middle right there. I hope you can see. But look at all those cards though, and I'm not sure what you did to get them so angry. But, um, oh, you can see I blew those guys up. Get close so that they crash into stuff that'll help you pass through the mission. Look at that, I'm getting pretty far here. Oh! Oh no! And that's how you die. Wasted. Number eight, Devil Eater. I will kill you. Uh, but it's a survival, and you can see that there's just people coming, you can block, you shoot your way. There's also combos, here. your health bar's on the top. And sometimes when you block at the right time, like, that was bad. And block. So you can do a special here. You can also do one of these. There's a lot of special characters here as well. You gotta do one of those blocks. They also will give you more life. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Look at that. They're getting a lot harder and a lot stronger. Uh-oh. And that's how you die. Number 9. 10, 10. If you're a fan of Tetris puzzle type of game where you have to set your own spot down just like that and you will be in the end screwing yourself over or keeping yourself alive and I really really loved playing this game. Oops I kind of messed up. Once you set it down you can't really fix it but there's a lot of different sizes that you can mess with. Once you finish a line the line goes but you can't, it doesn't drop down you just literally just finish that line up. So let's go drop there. And you see, you don't get anything until you finish your whole entire row. So after you get these three out, there's a two-er, there's a one-er. It's a fun game. Number 10, Vovu. So what you're gonna have to do is figure out what way is gonna open it up. You see, um, that's gonna allow this to go in there. So that's dropped out. And I want to flip, oh, there we go, flip it there, and you're finished. Now you can see here that these ones require to be connected. They will go up if I press it, turn all those, so now I can press that. Oh, and I forgot about that spot, so let's do that. Let's turn this, let's only make these two come out, there we go, and then turn that one and let's do that and you finish it's definitely a brain thinker one and there you guys have it. these are the top 10 best games this week brought to you by me the cool loser and as always thank you for watching and just to let you guys know since i'm not recording with my panasonic lumix g7 and the sony nex 5r now to review what i was using it's the iPhone 7 recording this segment. All the flagships from like two years ago phones can easily run a show or a YouTube channel just like this. But I just wanted to simply test like my beard that I'm growing. The V20 here for you guys to see how the games ran, very smooth. And also a testing of the iPhone 7 camera performance in 1080p, 60 frames per second. But so far, the V20 is an awesome device. You can see how far I zoomed out the front facing camera on this is amazing thank you for joining and as always if you loved it give me a like until next time see ya later